my first Brutal Doom install video received a lot of high praise. So much that after a few years I think it's time for a bigger, better Brutal Doom installed video. So this is how you install and play Brutal Doom for five bucks or less. First, a very quick rundown on what Brutal Doom is. A scholar and a gentleman known as Sergeant Mark IV developed Brutal Doom a few years ago as a mod that brings Doom ultraviolence up to par with our more jaded modern age. It essentially floats on top of your Doom files and alters them into something more violent, more fast-paced, and, in my opinion, more enjoyable. I really believe that had the original Doom been this violent, then it probably would have been banned pretty much everywhere back in the 90s. But thankfully for us, times change. And here we go. Brutal Doom is easy to install and play. You just need a few things to get started. I'm going to provide links to everything you see in the video in the video description below. So just follow along and when you're done watching, everything should be in the video description. First, you're going to want a legitimate Doom WAD file. Basically, the WAD file is the core data file of your Doom game. That can be the Doom 2 WAD, the Ultimate Doom WAD, or maybe the original Doom WAD. Uh, whichever you choose is really up to you. I think Doom 2 and the Ultimate Doom are the two most frequently found that you can buy these days. But here are some really easy and cheap options where you can pick them up. The first one is Steam. Steam is, of course, an obvious choice. You can find both Doom 2 and the Ultimate Doom for five bucks a piece at any time. And if you have the patience, which I doubt, to wait for one of their biannual sales, usually these things tend to be discounted down to about $2.50 a piece, which is an absolute steal, but I would say it's a fair price even at $5. Another possibility is to go to GOG.com. That stands for Good Old Games, I believe. It's preferred by some because they tout their DRM-free software. Uh, once you buy it, it's yours. You don't need to go through any particular platform like Steam to play it. GOG did start out a few years ago specializing in older software, but as you know, the markets go, things are competitive, and so you'll find this sort of old software in places like Steam and elsewhere these days, but GOG still remains a good source if you're looking for older software like Doom. Yet another option is the Humble Bundle store. But wherever you find it, it's really not going to cost you a lot of money. Doom and Doom 2 are, at this point, ancient games. The file sizes are extremely small. They're in the megabytes, not the gigabytes. And so companies don't charge much for downloading them. I didn't check, but I'm sure you could buy a used copy of Doom or Doom 2 from Amazon for a fairly reasonable price. But given how easy it is to download, you're probably better off getting a digital copy. Once you have your copy of Doom, install it. Once it's installed, you're going to want a modern day game engine to run Doom with the Brutal Doom mod. I've always used GZ Doom. I've had good luck with it. It tends to run well. It's user friendly. And the best part, of course, is GZ Doom is completely free. You download it in your format of choice. I'll provide a link, as I mentioned, to the download page. You just download the executable, install it as you would any other software, and it's there on your directory. They've made versions of GZ Doom that work on Windows, on Mac, and even on Linux. Better still, the site has its own forum. And so, should you run into any technical difficulties, and hopefully you won't, but if you do, that's probably the best place to ask technical questions. You're more likely to get an intelligent answer on your troubleshooting issue there. Now, if you have your copy of Doom and GZ Doom installed, head on over to the mod database and download the latest version of Brutal Doom. Many versions have been released, and development after all these years, I believe it's about seven or eight years now, development's ongoing still. This mod just keeps getting better and better. Download the latest Brutal Doom mod file using the link you see in the video, and extract the Brutal Doom mod file directly into your GZ Doom install directory. 
Move a Doom wad of your choice from wherever you install Doom over also to your GZ Doom install directory. So you're going to want the wad and also the Brutal Doom mod file there in whichever directory you've chosen for GZ Doom. Once they're both there, just drag and drop the Brutal Doom mod file over your GZ Doom executable. That's all you have to do. Uh, if you want to, you can also drag the wad. I don't believe that's actually necessary. You may see it in the video, but it's not necessary. If you'd like to prepare a clean shortcut for, say, your desktop or quick launch bar, I'll give written instructions below on how to modify an executable file so that everything just runs at once. But uh, if you're not that worried about a less clean way of loading the game, simply drag and drop over the executable and everything should be detected. Everything should work splendidly. Now, if you have more than one type of Doom wad in the GZ Doom directory, such as Doom and Doom 2, GZ Doom's pretty smart. It auto detects the presence of the multiple wads and it presents you with a little load menu and it asks you which version you'd like to use. So, again, everything's fairly user friendly, all things considered. Brutal Doom, as well as GZ Doom, you'll find, have lots of menu options. And I've never honestly really fiddled around with them very much. Some things I have done, I have shifted the engine mode over from multiplayer over to single player because that's how I play. I also like to have a crosshair and so I've added their crosshair option to my game because that's how I play. But uh, otherwise I've left the default options untouched. The default options in GZ Doom and Brutal Doom seem to be quite sensible right out of the package. But Rest assured, if you want to, you can adjust all kinds of gameplay options and video options, that sort of thing. They're all fairly self-explanatory, and it really doesn't make sense for me to go all, all over them in this video. It'll be easier for you to simply explore these options yourself. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words, so I can only imagine how much this video is worth, which shows a test map buried within the options that you can load up and muck around in. This mod is really extensive. So that's Brutal Doom in a nutshell. Five bucks or less and you can get this thing up and running, which in my mind is a tremendous value for a mod that injects a lot of fresh blood, so to speak, into Doom. Even if you're an old hand at Doom, and I suppose many of you are, I recommend still playing around a little bit in the classic mode before you get going in Brutal Doom. You'll get a feel for what GZ Doom brings to the game, and you'll become accustomed to the vanilla gameplay before trying the mod, so that when the time comes that you do load Brutal Doom up, I think you'll take note of all the changes and they'll be more apparent to you. They're pretty exceptional. Uh, you can kick monsters, you can flip them off, you can rip them to shreds, you can roll, you can duck, uh, you can do all the things that you find in modern games and then some. It's all there, it's really amazing, and these are the kind of things that's fun to discover as you play, so I, I really encourage everyone to try this out. It's honestly not an intimidating process. As far as mods go, this is on the easier side, and the reward is so big, I really encourage everyone that has any interest, at least, in trying this not to be discouraged by the fact that, oh, I've got to download this, I've got to download that. It's, it's really not bad, and I think you'll be pleased with yourself for having done it and you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Again, it's only $5 or less to get this thing running, which is a tremendous value. Now, there's just one more thing that I'd like to show before concluding, and that's playing custom maps. If you have a custom map file, such as I think it's called After the Apocalypse, you can probably already guess how to load it. That's right, you just drag the file along with the Brutal Doom mod onto your GZ Doom executable. And having done so, you're going to be able to play your custom map. So, enjoy. As far as this map that you're seeing goes, I really love it, by the way. It's uh, really something that showcases a lot of the features that have been brought into the game by Brutal Doom. One of the strong suits are the Liberated Marines that you can free up very early on. They can fight alongside you. They're fun, they, they have uh, little one-liners, they help a lot, they're quite powerful. It's not like some sort of escort mission where they're absolutely useless. They're really quite powerful. And it becomes almost a game to see how long you can keep them alive. 
this map really makes you stay on your toes as well. It's full of surprises. So if you download even just one custom map, you could do a lot worse than downloading this one. And again, I'll provide a link to it in the video description. So stay frosty, my friends. Thanks for watching. I hope that this video improved upon its predecessor, and I really hope that it encourages some of you to try out Brutal Doom and maybe test your hand at trying a mod if you've never tried one before. This is certainly one that's worthy of your attention. Like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.